leaked documents suggest Apple could be forced to build iPhones with user removable batteries in Europe. Good. It's because okay, it's it's on Mac rumors, so that's why it's singling out Apple and and iPhones, but really the European Union in general, they're mad at they're mad about the e-waste. Mm -hmm. They're mad about the smartphones, all these people using their smartphones. Uh-huh. They don't people don't know the EU've been around long before smartphones. They got the EU's got uh, wine and cheese, uh, bread, tremendous bread. They've got uh, euros. Automobiles, some of the some top top of the line automobiles. Mm -hmm. You understand? All the best soccer teams. You understand? Football teams. Yeah, it's great. They've been around, so they're sick of this e-waste. It's this. They say it's screwing up all those other things. Bicycles. Mm -hmm. They do that. Uh, October Fest. Uh, uh, accessible and affordable transit. <laughs> it's great. The EU. Fresh produce. Well, we have fresh. Produce. <laughs> hey, man! Come on now. You don't have you don't have EU level fresh produce. All right. So they're sick of the e waste. I remember seeing the thing. They were mad at the Lightning port. They said, you know, we're thinking about forcing Apple out of that Lightning port. That was the last time you heard about this. And Apple was like, too late because they're already done with that Lightning port. They're moving on sometime soon, anyways, to Type C. But this one this is a bit tougher. It's a bit rougher, a bit more rugged because I don't see this. I mean, how are you going to do this? It's a proposal from the European Union suggesting that smartphone manufacturers in the EU should be forced to make all batteries removable in the future. Any smartphone brand that wants to sell a handheld device in the EU will have to ensure that every device on the market has a user removable battery. I mean, I'm kind of split on this. I, For the record, I mean, how are you going to do this? Is Apple really going to comply? Or are they going to go over there, you know, shake a few hands? Mm-hmm. Uh, Probably the latter. Shake a few hands? Yes. Mm. Eat a few meals. <clears throat> Eat some of that fresh produce. <laughs> hey, some of that fresh bread. Huh? Yeah. I mean, they might do that. Maybe not, though. Maybe they're mad. Maybe it depends how mad they are. It depends where the message came from. This is a leaked document. At the moment, it's not an official proposal. Many people, there's a whole community of people who say, I want to repair my stuff. I want to swap out my batteries. I don't want to get throttled when the battery's at half capacity. I don't want to wait in line. I don't want to talk to a genius. A lot of people think, hey, we should have some level of control over the lifespan of the device and what we can and, can re re can and can't replace. And some people go even a step further and they say, and it, they're actively trying to shut us down. And they're talking about Apple when they say that. Yeah. Now, look, I'm somewhere in the middle because here's the thing. I, I, I understand the compelling nature of the removable battery, but I also I look at the designs of these things. Man, I was playing with the S20 Ultra upstairs. They're man. sleek. Oh! Some, these designs are kind of... Everything is packed in there. Nice little package. So tight, and the tolerances are so minimal, and... This is coming from a guy, for the record. I don't need to go into the whole backstory again, do I? 27 years I spent replacing batteries. Yeah. I'm only 28. <laughs> I, spent, I spent five years. I spent five years with a business replacing batteries in iPhones, iPods, and so forth. It's not, man, it's not an easier and nice thing to do, but there was a demand for it at that point in time because the cost of those devices plus how quickly those batteries depleted. I, mean, I remember iPod mini, everybody needed a new battery in those things. They were, they were terrible for that. That was my gig. So I have a lot of, obviously 
I feel I like to have the ability to repair something, but but I just see increasingly the types of designs that we're asking for. It's hard. How do you? I mean, you look at the i the iPod Mini that you're you're showcasing here. At least you could get in there and crack it open. You look at these new designs. Everything's embedded. It's sleek. It's all packed in there, man. Like you gotta start heating up all the edges to, to remove the adhesives and. Everything is glass. There's no tolerance for that behavior. So we can't really, also we can't really turn around and say, yeah, user, go ahead, destroy your stuff. Uh -huh. When you're pretty convinced that the average user is not gonna have the tools necessary or the patience or the expertise to do it. So I'm split. I don't necessarily know that it should be mandated. Maybe it could be a little easier. Maybe they could somehow make it easier for those that really wanna dig in there. But I've been inside these phones, man, and it's just, it's not, it's hard to imagine what the suggestion would be because you got this battery wedged between this variety of other components. And it, it, in most cases, it's not feasible to ask the consumer to jump in there and replace their bat battery. And I don't see us going backwards to those to fatter plastic phones with doors on the back. You drop the phone, the whole thing explodes. Everybody remembers the days. Mm -hmm. I don't think that we're going to snap our fingers and go back to that reality. So this this proposal might be a little bit out of touch with the times. I think the ideal scenario is that these batteries, the improvements in battery technology, allow us to hold on to these things a little bit longer mm -hmm. and possibly chuck them out less frequently in exchange for a new one. Maybe that's a possibility. But even that's a, that's hard for me to talk about or think about as a tech fan myself. I'm always getting a fresh one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe accessibility within the community, wireless charging at kiosks and stuff like that, coffee what, shops. What are you going to do with that? You think you're going to extend the lifespan of the battery, battery conditioning? Not extend it, but just like have it charged. Oh, so if you're not holding a charge, yeah. it's like you can still keep using the phone? Yeah. That's nice of you, Mayor maybe, Will. you know. Mayor, Mayor will do, will, yeah. Yeah. Remember the campaign? You got rid of that one, the campaign background. Yeah, I know. I thought it was a bit ridiculous. I mean, too much that's what's me. good about it. It's good about it. Is it's ridiculous, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, it's it's a leak. It's a leak of a proposal. A leak of a proposal. I don't know where you guys land on this particular subject. Obviously, we don't go just tossing batteries into the incinerator nonstop. You know, Acme made. We don't want to go to that level either, but it's just it's a it's a hard one to figure out, hard one to map out, particularly with the disposal leasings. All this tech going forward, all the things we want. Well, yeah, you want the hot smartphone, you want the the watch, you want the headset, you want the well, you're you want them in the cars too. You want the cells in the cars oh, yeah, too. Yeah. What are you gonna do with all these batteries? Well, you 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 don't got a plan. No, you got no plan. It's collecting them. Yeah, so that's what, right so the EU is going to come get you. You're not even in the EU, and they're yeah. already mad at you. Got all these batteries piling up. It's but it's a, it's, a, it's a real question. The lifespan of these things, how long, replaceability, hold on to components. How long should you hold on to a smartphone for real? Let's say you want to be on the, in the EU's good book. You want to be the environmental type. What do they recommend? How long you hold on to a smartphone for? Obviously, if you're into the replacing battery territory, that's like, oh, that's beyond, say, two years. Mm -hmm. You don't know the last time I held on to a smartphone for two years? Mm -hmm. it's, it's Never. Too long. I don't know if I ever did. No, back in the day, probably. But yeah, I'm just telling you, it's part of the, it's part of the gig here. So don't blame me. Right. I could probably live just fine on a Galaxy S8. I'd probably live my life. Yeah. But around here... I mean, there's six phones on the table right now. <laughs> Using so, all of them at the same time. Uh, yeah, that's right. What can I say? It's part of the gig. I can't. Uh... Anyway, where do you land, Will? What do you think? Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. a new phone every year. But I you mean, got I'm, new... I'm guilty of it. You're a new sure. phone every year. Yeah. Yeah. I it's, it's bad. Okay, let's ask people in the comments. How often are you get a new phone? How often do you think a human being should get a new phone? How long should you hold on to it? And is it an environmental reason or a cost reason? Let me know.